year students. Uh, so the entire endeavor today is, is uh, um, I am your team, my name is uh, Dr. Mahal Brahma. Uh, the entire endeavor today is to give you a real life effect. And you have to cover two companies, okay? And one press conference after another. So this is an amalgamation of two press conferences. Usually what happens is that uh, representatives of the same company, they come, say uh, an organization, CEO or MD, CFO and, and say chief marketing officer or chief communication officer. Mm -hmm. So three of them will sit in a panel and talk about mm -hmm. what they have to say. Along with it, you would be given a media kit. So press release is basically something that is talking about why this press conference has been organized. Why has media been called? See, in an organization, developments happen, okay? Event day happens or there's a new MD appointment, MD is appointed, new leadership appointed. So in all that cases, the media needs to know. Why does the media need to know? That is the criticality that you need to understand. The media needs to know because media is media. It is a medium, it is a conduit, so that the information can be passed to the stakeholders. The promoters of the company, uh, plus there would be investors. So investors can be existing and potential. Have invested in the company, potential, that I showcase my company as a hugely growing company with a huge profit potential. So basically, um, say if you are, um, you know, for example, so which, uh, which, which uh, cellular company do you use? So, you are a potential customer of Airtel, you are a potential customer of Jio, mm. and you are an existing customer of Vodafone. Vodafone. Yes. Clear? Mm. Information that needs to be shared and the uh, stakeholders, right? Uh, press conference has, uh, you know, has the unique opportunity <coughs> wherein the media can directly ask the mm -hmm. management, okay? Uh, the alternate is that you share the media release, you mail the media release to the journalist and the journalist might ask a few questions via phone or you know via mail. Uh, and I am talking about the system, the logistics of communicating a news to media. So you prepare a press conference and you send it, share it with media. Then the media might have some uh, queries or they might publish it as is, okay, via either online or in print or whatever. Clear? In many cases, and ideally, uh, the media should reach back, you know, they, they should get back and ask a few questions. So, uh, I, uh, and, and this is primarily for the journalism students because uh, MBA students, they will be on the opposite, the other side. As journalism students, whenever you reach as, as journalists in the future, whenever you, you get a press release, look at the press release and understand that. So this is the version that the company has to say. Say the company claims ABCD that we are the biggest brand in the eastern part of the country or whatever it is. Your job is to get back to the company and ask how are you making that claim? Is there any third party accreditation or third party uh, that you have engaged who has made that uh, you know that assessment, that measure, and uh, given you this certificate, number one. Number two, you also need to ask them that, can you provide me the contact of that assessment agency? We would like to have their perspective, right? The chief communications officer. So mm -hmm. I am now talking from the journalist perspective, yes. from the other perspective. Yes. And then you need to go to the industry. So reach out to your industry contact. So if it is if it is a claim that industry, and then ask that what is the credibility of this agency? Is this agency credible to give a certificate? Mm. You're getting my point. As a journalist, your job is not to judge. Compared to the other companies in Eastern India, the growth rate of this e-commerce company is the highest. Mm. So you have the quote of that. You have the quote of the MD, you have to quote of that agency because you've spoken to that agency, remember? Mm -hmm. Who has, who, uh, you know, studies e-commerce uh, companies across the country mm -hmm. and globally and they have certified that in the eastern part of the uh, country, 
studying you will only study ideal situations wherein you will do all the right things okay so their job so ask them difficult questions so when when they put across their presentation question them you know if you think that data is not right uh, you know contest that data that from where have you got that data how do you contest the data that either uh, you contest the source or you know for a fact that this data is wrong correct so contest that data contest whatever they are saying not for the sake of it but to make the claim uh, foolproof and there are times where companies have modified their statements you know based on uh, you know a journalist was journalists uh, getting back to them there are claims that have been revoked there are steps that have been taken uh, there are claims that have been made uh, which have been countered and uh, all that thing has happened media has been very powerful uh, so i was with the new york times and then with the economic times as a senior editor and then a chief editor so uh, and this was a decade back and 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 media has been very powerful unfortunately the political uh, uh, agendas have started to uh, influence more however i am sure media will be able to maintain that balance but never in your heart never ever consider media to be weak in your heart know that you have a lot of power you are the media so you have the right to question everybody on earth okay and all for the sake of your readers you have to be honest to your readers under your byline uh, no wrong information can pass you know it is not a promotion it is news it is not a paid promotion it is not an advertisement it is news always always as media people as future journalists please keep that distinction in mind that is my only request okay without further ado i will you please start thank you sir. Thank you so much, so much, everyone, for uh, having me over here. And uh, I'm once again thanking you also for uh, giving us your important time and uh, uh, presenting here. And so uh, we'd like to, I'd like to once again uh, uh, represent my company as I have uh, uh, already discussed about this uh, thing about my company. So uh, this time I'd like to uh, share a very good news about my company that my company has raised. Uh, Two million uh, marketing gain uh, from uh, Fireside Venture, and from its uh, series a funding uh, from its a funding uh, series round. So this is the good news, and uh, I am uh, into I am inviting all of you here to ask me some question about my company's growing. What is uh, what is my company's future uh, endeavor, and uh, so on. Mr. Genius, my question to you will be. 2022-23 union budget decided to support post harvest value addition enhancing domestic con uh, consumption and branding of millets nationally and internationally do you think it will help you to reach your goal of increasing the production of millet based food yes of course i think that it will be beneficial for uh, that kind of organization who are producing only organizing uh, uh, organic product because uh you have seen that in pandemic situation there are a demand there there has been a demand uh, for you know a uh, healthier product so as we are from a healthier brand as we are making our brand as 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 we are producing uh, you know product like uh, uh, like you know like uh, which is health uh, health conscious so i think uh, product like millet ba based product and packaging product Uh, and we are very conscious about health that that will make uh, something better for our company also it is not only our company also the company and the stakeholders who is who is engaging in this entire you know organization like millet based product or organic product that's all websites where some customer has uh, some complaint about some products were like how things are in the ingredients are not adding 100% and even after following the ingredients the cereal is getting dry that's get uh, difficult for baby to feed so what will be your response to that do you guys not uh, go through to the reviews who have praised about our products so why don't you ask about them 
We have that confidence that we are producing a product that is health conscious and uh, I will request you please uh, provide us that data. We will get back to this customer and we will uh, make so sure. modify the language. So we are a country, okay. especially towards the bottom of the pyramid. So because there is uh, an entry barrier in terms of pricing, because organic food is expensive compared to uh, non-organic food, because there is a process uh, of, of, you know, the organic farming is an expensive prof proposition of, of this thing. Come again. So, in this pandemic situation, like while most of the companies are not doing good very well. Yeah. Uh, this company uh, has trusted us to invest uh, one million dollars in our company uh, even in in this pandemic situation where uh, you know most of the organizations and and even the economy is struggling so we are grateful to them however we um, will make sure that we will utilize every opportunity that the pandemic poses to us and not only look at the dark side we will utilize every opportunity that the pandemic gives and utilize this money in such a way that the expansion is in line with uh, reaching out to a greater audience so that we are able to cater to a better health of the entire country as we go forward. And, and, and I'm sure in the future we will have more such investments and, and more such supporters uh, to take our, uh, you know, so that we can serve the entire country and even beyond. Okay. No, I can understand. Okay. Yes. But this is how you. This is the kind of. This is the kind yes. of response. Yes. There is no questions, na. He said one said ki. Yes. No, no, no. I am not calling it luxury. I, I will. I don't know. Because see, whenever you are in the food business. A very good afternoon to everyone who ever present here. I am Mona Lisa Dasgupta. For today's press conference, my announcement on Senko Gold and Diamond and I introduced the digital gold scheme in Indian market. Senko Gold and Diamond is owned by Senko Limited. It was founded in the year 1994 in the month of uh, 24th of, of August by Sri Shankar Sen under the provision of Company Act 1956. Uh, Senko Gold and Son have both online and offline sto store. They basically they provide wide m wide range of jewelry to their royal customers. The the company is renowned for lightweight jewelry and traditional handmade jewelries. Uh, the company has received many awards such. Well, Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. For today's press conference. Uh, Senko Gold is announcing a digital gold scheme. As we all know that Senko Gold and Diamond is a renowned company for gold jewelry. You would guess it because please understand this is for everybody's knowledge. Not all corporate MDs are very comfortable taking questions. You know they avoid press conferences. But investment uh, talks are at, in advanced stages. And once we are, uh, once those investments are closed and then, you know, our, our initial expansion plans are there, then we will uh, get into the listing, uh, you know, thought process because listing is a, is a huge amount of responsibility and, and we, you know, we do have plans on our cards. However, we will do it in phase two of our expansion plan. They may invest through directly uh, with our uh, website or, or through the tie-up with the digital platform. Like this way, they can invest. The platform is Google Pay, well, Google, Google, please digital, mention that. Yeah, yes. For thought that we would provide them this fantastic investment opportunity through Digital Gold, which uh, you know has A, B, C, D advantages. And uh, either you can invest there through our uh, portal, or you can do it via GPay or, or ATM. Yeah, so I would like to ask what is the feasibility of the whole digital gold scheme? Like, what can the buyers who are getting it, they can get the advantages of it? Uh, respective address and it can be stored <coughs> safely by 100% uh, secure. Uh, if, if I want to exchange my gold jewelry, by, um, such as gold coin, 
so i can exchange exchange it and digital gold is genuine with the purity of 24k thank you the cryptocurrency is going to give a hard competition to the digital gold as well so what are the strategies of a company regarding to that and stop them from investing in cryptocurrency and digital gold so clearly see while cryptocurrency is there but uh, you need to elucidate on the challenges of cryptocurrency okay number one the challenge of crypt uh, cryptocurrency the fact that while uh, uh, dr sita raman has uh, talked about cryptocurrency but cryptocurrency is still not an acceptable form in the current market they have asked for a tax on that so that is the only acceptable form for the government and then there are these challenges that that uh, happen with crypto uh, cryptocurrency the the uncertainties of cryptocurrency and all that on the other hand digital gold is a risk free platform so so why they should invest is that this is a zero risk because the underlying asset is a 99% what whatever pure gold, pure gold. whatever it is yeah? so whatever so money is, you invest it it can convert it is into gold whatever money there is no risk so why not cryptocurrency because the risk is zero okay one minute act me to prepare that's okay focus on the question open but still now the customer are not comfortable to come to our stores so 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 what is uh, how it's going to benefit the senko it's yeah. got the okay and uh, second is that please understand we are catering to a very specific target audience a demography which is how we are basically expanding uh, our our demography base and starting from 25 to 45 and digital is the most potent medium that we have identified for this product of us which is digital gold so therefore the the the, the digital marketing will help us get a, a, a broad based client uh, client team in the demography of 25 and 45 you know to give uh, more to people because at the end of the day their customers are also our potential customers so if they benefit from them we are very happy you know for us we only are there for the benefit of our customers so no matter whose customers you are if my competitors because of me are giving a greater uh, you know discount to their customers i am a happy man